get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Well, happy early Thanksgiving. This is our last week before our Thanksgiving break, so we got some fun music to make this week. We got a couple of things to practice. Some hard work this week, but it's going to pay off in the end because we're going to be making music, going to be having some fun, and it's going to get us ready to move on to our next set of songs and our next set of activities. So, enough talking. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fourth grade. Well, you know, we have a holiday coming up next week. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy early Thanksgiving to you. You know, Thanksgiving is a time when families come together and say thanks and be thankful that they have each other and be thankful for all the things that they have. And, you know, one thing, you might get to see some of your family members. Like I said, you might get to see your uncles. You might even get to see your aunts. And I have a song today about an aunt. It's a song from France. We've done several songs from France recently. And this song is also from France. It's called Go Tell Aunt Rhody. Let me tell you this. We've got to tell Aunt Rhody some, some sad news. Listen. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody the old gray goose is dead. Boy, not good news to tell Aunt Rhody. Oh no. Question how many phrases are in the song? Listen. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody the old gray goose is dead. Four phrases. Nice job. I'll sing the same. Go back. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. The old gray goose is dead. Oh, that poor old gay, gray goose. That poor old gray goose. Ay, ay, ay. Try a little bit longer this time. Listen. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody the old gray goose is dead. Try the whole song with me. Here we go. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody the old gray goose is dead. Oh, I wish we could tell. You know, maybe we could tell Aunt Rhody something else. Can you think of something else? There's got to be something else we can tell Aunt Brody. Go tell Aunt Brody. Go tell Aunt Brody. Go tell Aunt Brody. What's something good we could tell her? Instead of the old gray goose is dead, what else can we tell her? Uh, that she just won some cash. There we go. That's better. That she just won some cash. That's a, that's a good thing to tell her. That she is really smart. Oh, that'd be nice to tell her instead of the old gray goose being dead. Uh, what else could we do? What else could we tell her? That she just won a new car. Wow. It's, things are really looking up for Aunt Brody. Can you come up with some of your own things that we can tell Aunt Brody? Could you actually not just tell her? Could you actually sing it to her? See if you can write down some ideas. Come up with some other things we can tell Aunt Brody besides the old gray goose is dead. Think of some other things and put them into the song. See how many you can write. If you want to share them with me, you can just email them to makingmusicfalconfriends at gmail.com. You know the email address. Feel free to share them with me if you want to. Give me some good news about Aunt Rhody, not just the old great goose being dead. So have fun, and if you have an Aunt Rhody at this at Thanksgiving this year, well, maybe tell her something nice too. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fourth grade, a quick review from last week. Last week we learned something really important. So about we learned about big steps and little steps. We learned about major steps and minor steps. We said in music, a big step is called a major step, and a small step is called a minor step. We have two different types of steps. Way to remember it are the constellations. We said Ursa Major is the Big Dipper, Ursa Minor is the Little Dipper. So major is big, minor is little or small. Okay? And we also discovered that in our song from Hungary, our Hungarian canon, we have a new solfege sound. We have five sounds in a row. Five sounds in a row. They're all step apart, but the third and the fourth step are closer together. Well, we know the bottom three. We know these. Mi, Re, Do. 
We know that a skip higher is so, but now we have one in between me and so that is closer to me than it is to so. It's only a minor step away from me. A sound that is a minor step higher than me is called fa. And it sounds like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so. Can we sing that? Do, re, mi, fa, so, so. Set your hand up like that. Show me that hand sign and point to your fingers while we sing it. Here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so. Good. Let's just sing the five. Don't do so twice. Just sing it once. Here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Good. Show me the hand signs. Here's do. Here's re. Here's me. Fa is a minor step higher, so it's just like that. It's not quite a thumbs down. It's sort of like a thumb on the bottom. And then so is like that. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Great. Last week I showed you on our steps where these sounds live. I drew five steps. One, two, three, four, five. And we had do, re, mi, fa, so. Like that. Five steps in a row. In music, we have five steps in a row. We have a name for that. We call five steps in a row a pentachord. Pentachord is five steps in a row, like a pentatonic scale. Or a pentagon, five is the number of things. A pentachord is five in a row. One, two, three, four, five. And we know that two of these are a minor step apart. Me and fa are a minor step apart. All the rest are major steps. Do to re is a major step. Re to mi is a major step. Mi to fa is a minor step, smaller. Fa to so is a major step. Exactly right. Now, what does this look like on our staff? What you're going to need today is you're going to need to draw a whole bunch of staff paper. Okay, so grab a piece of paper, grab some pencils, and you're going to need a ruler too. On the side, make a mark at two inches, three, four, five, and six. And then on the other side, do the same thing and then connect them so you get these straight lines like that. You need five straight lines like that. And they're all evenly spaced if you use a ruler, okay? Remember, we count from the bottom up. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make a little reminder of what we have in this song. We've got do, re, mi, fa, so. Let's put our sounds where they go. Do, I'm going to tell you, is for right now on its own line. You make your own line, and do is on its own line. Re is a step higher, but it's not very much higher. It's actually below the first line. That's where re goes on our staff, like that. Me is on the first line. They're just moving up by steps, so we're going from lines to spaces and spaces to lines. Fa is just another step. It's a minor step, but it's still a step, so it's going to be in the first space, just like that. And finally, so is on the second line, just like that. We got five sounds in a row. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Perfect, just like that. Guys, get some staff paper ready, because today we're going to be singing and writing out some music from a bunch of different songs that we've been singing recently. A lot of them have a pentachord. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Those five sounds with the minor step, okay? So get ready. Get your staff paper ready. Draw it out, because coming up next, we're going to be making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All righty, fourth grade, you're going to need some staff paper, so make sure you make, oh, probably about three of these with the staff. You're going to need the lines, five lines straight across. Draw it. You know how to do it with the ruler. Pretty easy to do. Okay, now, Let's go to some songs we've been singing and discover that a lot of the songs we've been singing have our new pentachord in them, have some patterns using our pentachord. Let's start with, um, I don't know, how about our goose cannon from England? Why shouldn't my goose sing as well as your goose when I paid for my goose twice as much as you? Hmm. Now that last phrase in the song sounds uh, like it might have a pentachord. Listen, twice as much as you, lou, 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 lou. What direction does that go? Does it go up or does it go down? Lou, 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 lou. It goes down, right? So this time it's not going to start on do. It's going to start on so. Lou, 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 lou. What would it be? So, fa, mi, re, do. Right, it's coming the opposite way. So on your staff, let's make a little reminder first. Let's put a little reminder of our solfege sounds. We've got so, fa, mi, re, do. Let's say so is, oh, on the second line right there. 
And we're coming down this time. Our melody came down. So where would fa go when so is on the second line like that? Feel free to copy along with me. It might help you out. Fa is one step lower. Yes, it is in the first space. And we're coming down. Next is me. We're coming down even further. So fa, me, first line. Pretty easy to see. Next is re, which is another step lower. So it's going to be below the first line. Exactly right. And finally, we've got Do, which is so low, it is on its own line, just like that. And we'll put the stems. So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Oh, what comes at the end of that? So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. A beat with no sound, also called a rest. There we go. Take your time to copy that. Make sure you've got it written just like that. Take your time. Make sure you have it perfect in the same spots exactly like I do. Don't forget that rest of the end. Pause the video if you have to. Make sure you have that copied down. Good. Let's actually sing that now. Ready? Here we go. So, fa, mi, re, do. Great. It's a good example from our song, The Goose Cannon. Okay. Let's go to another song. Uh, we're in England. Uh, let's go to another European country. Let's go to France. And let's go to our song, Alouette. We sang it before. Alouette, jante, alouette, alouette, jante, plumure, jante, plumure, la tête, jante, plumure, la tête, et la tête, et la tête, alouette, alouette, oh, 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 alouette, jante, alouette, alouette, jante, plumure. Uh, there's a phrase in here that is, it should be pretty easy, listen closely. Jante, plumure, la tête. What direction does it go? Lou, 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 Lou. It's going up, except the last three are all the same. So, what would it be if we sing on the solfa James? Lou, 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 Lou. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, So, So. Exactly. Okay, let's make a little reminder for ourselves, shall we? We've got. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so, so. Okay. So where's do going to go? Well, we said do is on its own line. We'll put do right there. And then re is a step higher, so it's underneath the first line. Again, feel free to copy along with me. And then mi is on the first line. And then another step, fa, is in the first space. And our last three are all the same. They're all so. And where do they go? On the second line. Right. Not too tricky. Pentachords, when you look at them on the staff, not too hard. They are major and minor steps, but on the staff, they're all just steps. Put the rhythms. Just like that. Feel free to copy that. Make sure you have that written on your staff. It's good to practice that. Make sure you write that out. Make sure they're in the correct spots. Go ahead and pause the video if you have to and copy that down. Got that copied? Good. Let's sing it. Here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so, so. Great. Nice job. Okay. You know what? Let, let's do one more. Um, oh, we just left England, but let's go back to England. We did a song a few weeks ago about a needle and a thread. Needle's eye that does supply the thread that runs so truly. Many a bow have I let go because I wanted you. Mama taught me how to sew and how to thread the needle. Every time my finger slips, pop goes the weasel. Hmm. There is a phrase in this song that goes like this. Pop goes the weasel. Ooh. Now, there's something really interesting about this one. Lou, 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 Lou. Five notes, but actually, if you listen very carefully, you're going to notice that two of them are the same. Lou, 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 Lou. Which two are the same pitch? Did you figure it out? The last two, right. What direction is this melody going? Lou, 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 Lou. It's going down. So again, we're starting on our high. We're starting on so. But we only there's one that we don't have. Lou, 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 Lou. Lou. Skipping? Did you figure it out? 
Lou, 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 Lou. Did you get it? So, Fa, Re, Do, Do. There's no me in this song. No me. Well, I'm here, but there's no me in this song. Let's make a little reminder. This is a tricky one to hear. We've got So, Fa, Re, Do, Do. No me. No me. Does not use all five of our pentachord sounds, but it does use our new one, Fa. So, second line. Fa is the first bass. Now, tricky, tricky, careful. Re is a skip lower than Fa. So we're going to skip down to that underneath the line. And then Do is on its own line. And then Do is on its own line. Tricky this time. A little bit moving around. So, Fa, Re, Do, Do. Just like that. That's a tricky one. Take your time. Pause it if you have to. Copy that. It's a tricky pattern. All right, let's see if we can sing it together. Ready? If you have it written down, point to yours. I'll point to mine. Here we go. So, fa, re, do, do. Great. Nice job. Okay. So, using our pentachord, pretty easy. Or, can be a little tricky without using all of it. You have to really use your ears along with your eyes on a pentachord. So, if you have more staff paper, feel free to write out some more. You can uh, listen to some more music, or you can think of some more songs we've been singing and try to figure out some more phrases to have it, or even make up your own phrases that use all five of our sounds. Mix them up in a different order. Either way, make sure you're having fun, and make sure you're still making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So, until next...